Hello there guys, welcome back. Oh, it's a beautiful day today. It's very hot though. <laughs> Down to the t-shirt. Uh, I've just got a fire going and um, I'm starting work on a little table I uh, just have here. Um, I was waiting till I had some bigger stuff to work with there's a couple of trees that have got to come down but I thought it'd be nice to do a little one today and what am I doing today? well I've got a giant block of salt and I'm going to cook a steak on it a lovely bit of steak, you wait till you see it <laughs> um, yeah so I'm also going to do a bit of shelter work while I'm here but the video's not too focused on that uh, so yeah I better get to it As you can see here I've used the barrelide auger which I've not used since I made that chair or the um, saw horse down at the old camp and I've done three holes I was going to do four but three would be enough and I'll just clear them out and I'll uh, just find something to make some legs I'm just going to swap over to the Laplander here just to do some of these smaller cuts because I have it with me so I may as well use it The saw I was using earlier was this, and it's a uh, bow saw or buck saw um, that collapses down, has a brilliant case with it. This is made by Simon, Simon the Bloke in the Woods, who you'll know from some of my videos or from his own. <laughs> he did a batch of them, they sold out in about five minutes, so I'll keep you updated if he's going to make another batch, which I'm sure he will at some point when he has the time. But a um, lovely bit of kit. I'm going to go over this more on my new second channel, which is the um, review channel I've just launched. There'll be a link for that in the description, um, or check out my other video talking about it. So that's just gonna be a channel dedicated to going over the kit I use. Really short, to the point videos. I'm gonna make a few small stop cuts here now. And that's just so I can whittle down the end easily. So it'll fit in them holes the auger bit made. The auger, if you're wondering, was a seller off of eBay um, quite some time ago now, a couple of years. I think I have seen them pop up on there. I'll uh, try and link them below. Okay, the moment of truth here. So I can make the hole a little deeper or I can cut off the end of this. I think I've just cut off the end of this. Right, now this is my beautiful piece of pink Himalayan salt block. One solid block. I got it a little while ago and uh, they're not cheap <laughs> so I'm hoping this is gonna work because I've never seen anyone do this over fire before so we'll see um, yeah so it seasons your meat while you cook it basically I'm going to set up some rocks and I'm gonna put this by the fire to slowly heat it because I've read that that's quite important to very slowly heat this up to temperature I keep rotating this block 
and moving it closer and closer bit by bit. It's getting hot, it's uh, still handleable though. So I'll put some rocks around this fire so I can uh, sort that out. Right, I think I'm going to go for it with the salt block. It's pretty hot now. And there we go. Simple as that. So we're very close to ready and I've uh, read that you should put a little water just to check. Seems hot enough to me. I'm not even sure this is going to fit. It is ridiculous. It's a T-bone or porterhouse, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh yes. So it's been uh, four or five minutes going. Try and flip it here. It's a little stuck, it's not too bad. Oh my goodness. about done to my liking. While the steak's resting in the background, I'm just going to do the mushrooms and onions. Now I don't think this is going to work, but, you know, not unless you try. Well, it wasn't as flat as I thought. Now it will definitely cook, the question is... Will I be able to get it off? Oh, am I happy with this? <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God, I've not had a T-bone in ages. The egg actually come out okay. The fin bit burnt on, but uh, hmm. Mmm. Wow, the seasoning's great. It's not too much, I, I, <laughs> I forgot for a minute that it was cooking on salt. Let's have a taste of the onion here. It really gets that seasoning in there. It's not like seasoning sat on the surface. It's like baked in. Not so strong on the egg. I guess it wasn't on there as long. But look, the mushrooms are fantastic. Mm. I'm not someone who likes too much seasoning on their food. Um, so this will be the test. Wow, let's just move this aside a little. Let's just look at that for a moment. <laughs> it's a beautiful piece of meat. How did I do? Not bad at all. In all honesty, I'm not one of them people that's super fussy. You know, I'll take a steak however it comes. Uh, medium, medium rare, I guess is what I would order, but... Hmm. Freaking amazing. Mm. I've got to try this side as well, haven't I? Put some of that crispy fat there as well. Uh, I'm not enough of an expert to know what side's what. I'm sure someone would be able to tell me. Plenty of experts on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, so this side 
It's a little rarer. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Right. Yeah, this is a, a bit nicer this side. You've got that crust on the fat there, and it's kind of melting the mouth in the middle, and then just that's just perfectly cooked. Nice and pink and juicy. Oh. It is amazing. Melt in the mouth. Mm. Even the egg's great. Okay, so this side was definitely the one I preferred over this one, and it was um, cooked better as well. Maybe it was a bit thicker. As you go to the bone, it was a little more rare. Lovely. You may have noticed I removed the grill and had the salt block directly on the rocks over the fire at a certain point of the cook, and that's why. I pushed this too far, basically. Um, it's nice thick gauge titanium, but it was under some extreme heat. It had the fire underneath and like a 500 Fahrenheit salt block on the top, it was sandwiched in that, and it was pivoted on the rocks. Um, I do still recommend most of the Winter Well stuff. I'll talk to them about this, but uh, yeah, I think I've just pushed it way too far. I think cooking on it directly would be fine because you've not got that heat from above as well. It's a shame. I was looking forward to using that. Right, so that's me done for the day. Hope you've enjoyed that. Um, should be back here soon to finish off this shelter and I'm hoping I can get away with spending the night. Uh, we'll see how, how things go over the next week or so. But that'll be a week after you see this video anyway. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you soon. Don't forget to check out the review channel, link below. Goodbye guys.